refusal of President Muhammadu Buhari to replace the service chiefs despite repeated calls by the National Assembly and other eminent Nigerians will be the major point of discussion when the President meets with the House of Representatives on Thursday. Daily independence has gathered. The lawmakers said they are ready to confront the President over the continued stay of the service chiefs, who they said lacks ideas on how to tackle the rising insecurity in the country. The lawmakers who were disturbed by the worsening insecurity in the country last week summoned President Buhari over the murder of about 43 farmers by Boko Haram terrorists in Zambamari village, Jere Council of Borno State. The president later met the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Febi Gwajabi Amila, and agreed to honor his summons by the, parliament, by the parliament to brief members on what his administration is doing to address the deteriorating insecurity and other challenges facing the country. Speaking with Daily Independence on Sunday, one of the lawmakers from the southeastern part of the country, who is a member of the People's Democratic Party, said they will be direct and we minds no ways with the president over his refusal to listen to their demands on the continued stay of the service chiefs. According to him, ignoring their calls for the removal of the service chiefs is akin to the president refusing to accede to the demands of over 200 million Nigerians since they are the representatives of the people. Said, yes, we are looking forward to the meeting. Like you read, the president has agreed to be to the summons. We appreciate him for that, but mind you, we are not going to mind waste on the issue of insecurity in the country, especially as regards the current service use. We want to know why the president has chosen to ignore our cause for their removal long ago. If you recall as far back as 2018 during the high point of Benue massacre and killings, of, killings in southern Kaduna, we, the representatives of the people, called on the president to sack the service chiefs, but he did nothing about it. Aside that, the leadership of the National Assembly, led by Senate President, by the Senate president, president and the Speaker of the House, also met privately with him and implored him to replace the service chiefs with new people who will bring fresh ideas and vigor into winning the war, but he also did not listen to their plea. We want to know why the service chiefs think they are the best people for the job. We have heard rumors that he wants them to work with him till May 2023 because he trusts them. <laughs> but we don't want to believe that if that is the case, he will explain to us during the meeting. Another federal lawmaker who is a member of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, said why he is a diehard loyalist of Pro President Buhari. The insecurity issue has gone beyond party affiliation. He said, I think the issue has gone beyond the political parties we belong to. It is about the safety of lives of Nigerians, including us. The recent NSAC process has served as an eye-opener for us. During that protest, the homes of many politicians were looted. The protesters never asked which political party you belong to before attacking. In a Senate climb, the service chiefs would have resigned. But since they have refused to do that, then the president who hired them should fire them and bring in new people. There is nothing spectacular about the current service chiefs to warrant their long stay and I can tell you that there are hundreds of generals who can do the work better if given the opportunity. We are really serious about the meeting and I can assure you that this will be a complete departure from the past where we make resolution and not implement it. We want to be on the side of Nigerians on this issue. On this issue. And the demands of majority of Nigerians is that the service chiefs must go. Other lawmakers spoke in the same vein, saying the president will be confronted over the issue on Thursday. Also speaking with Daily Independent, Dr. Junai Mohammed, Eda Statesman and Second Republic Federal Lawmaker, said the service chiefs have failed and should vacate the stage for others to show what they are capable of doing. He said the president must show statesmanship by listening to the demands of Nigerians through their elected representatives on the need to sack the service chiefs. The generals have failed. They should leave and allow other generals to come and succeed. They should stop blaming or blackmailing other generals because Nigerians are saying this group of service chiefs have failed. They should leave 
so that others can come on board and see if the insecurity challenges can be addressed. On behalf, on the belief that President Buhari wants the service chiefs to remain in office until he completes his tenure, Junai said, we would like to know what guarantee Buhari has on whether he is going to remain as president in 2023. Whatever he is afraid of can still happen to him whether in 2020 or in 2023. It is always dangerous for a mere mortal to attempt to play God. Only God can guarantee that he will save from now to 2023. There have been instances where others tried that before, before him, and we saw how they ended. Some of them barely escaped with their lives. So those who are telling Buari that the service chiefs can guarantee his tenure until 2023 are deceiving him and also deceiving themselves. The People's Democratic Party PDP caucus in the House of Representatives has said that the Nigeria should compel their representatives in the National Assembly immediately so immediately commence impeachment proceedings against President Muhammad Buhari for alleged gross incompetence, pers persistence and continuous breach of section 40 14 2 and B of the 1999 Constitution. The section provides that the security and welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of government. The PDP caucus also wants, wants members of the Federal Executive Council FEC, to invoke the provisions of Section 144 1 of the Constitution by declaring that the President is incapable of discharging the functions of the Office of President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The second section provides the president or vice president shall cease to hold office if by a resolution passed by two thirds majority of the members of the executive council of the federation, it is declared that the president or vice president is incapable of discharging the functions of his office. Leaders of the caucus, Kinsley Chinda, PDP, Rivers, said in a statement in Abuja on Saturday that it was disheartening to the PDP caucus that the president had failed to lead Nigerians from the front as he promised. Nigerians are daily and defenselessly killed by terrorists and bandits while the economy is being freely fled, bled by public officers, he said. <laughs> the economy is being freely unhindered on in that free fall bled by public officers. You see, when we talk about uh, thieves, they talk about uh, some people who, you know, those ones on the street. But the real thieves, they are the public officers and the politicians. Of course, they themselves, they can attest to, uh, attest to that or confirm that as well. So guys, uh, let us hear your opinion. Uh, whether these people, whether now watch the day, they are calling for the impeachment, this and this and that. And some people are saying, I mean, forget them. They are just trying to do this. Oh, they are just trying to do that. They are just trying to to, to make Nigerians feel that they are really working. Well, whether either of the two or whether, whatever anybody thinks about, but that's just the right thing to do. This man would have been impeached a long time ago. The incompetence is just oozing all over the world. So guys, leave your comment below and let's have your take on this matter.